Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel today. Today I'm going to be focusing more about the um, halves that have just rocked up, the catch boxes. Um, we've actually got quite a few at this place right now. There's actually one swarm that just seems to be moving in or has just moved in. And I'll show you that now shortly. And then I'll also show you one of the big halves that we've just caught as well up on the top of the roof here. It's quite a big guy and uh, they seem to be quite happy with where they're at. So be sure to stay on and you will see all of this in the video coming up. Alright, so I spoke about the small one that just seemed to have moved in and uh, initially they actually moved in at the bottom and uh, I decided to move the box more to the top of the stand um, over here because of the sun. It gets more sun over there than what it does down below over there. So I decided to move it up and as you can see them probably coming out that box here and there. It's a very small hive, they really are not big. Um, I'm not too sure where they actually would have come from. So this is the hive that I was talking about. I mean, as you can see, there's not much movement. It is still very cold today. Um, so you won't see much happening there right now, but they are in and out. And if you can see in there, I can't see much movement, but they're there. But I noticed I have put a feeder just next door to the box. And there are some bees that are actually charming on the feeder there, um, which is good, which is good. Um, it means that they are looking for food, but this also could be from the box just across on the roof And I will show you that now as well, which we're going to be moving today to the apiary because they need to be moved They're getting too big now And because of their size, uh, they're actually becoming quite aggressive now Especially in the very hot days and we're going to be getting hotter now because we are now out, out of winter And we're now going into spring So we're going to have to move them back to the apiary quite a distance away that way we won't be bugged by them and they can live happily, farm, forage, do whatever they need to do that side without bugging us here so we can relax comfortably without the worry of being stung. So let me go ahead and show you now that other big box um, on the roof. I just have to get out of the yard here quickly. Um, as I said, it's been there for quite some time already and uh, they've definitely built up a sizable colony inside that box. There's actually two over there. Um, the one's very big, the one's still small, maybe a little bigger than the one that I've showed you guys over there on the stands. Um, but yes, there are four boxes there. I think there are only two boxes that actually have half in them. Uh, we're going to be moving that big one today, this evening. And uh, hopefully I can get some video of that showing you guys us getting the foam in there and, and getting it all set up and ready to go. Our number one concern is that there are no other holes for them to go in and out of um, on that box. Because if there is, then... It could be a possibility that they'll come out there once you fill the main entrance and it could be a bit of a bummer. You could get stung, but hopefully they shouldn't be um, too active and I don't, I don't see any holes on that box, so it should be good. It should be good. Let me show you that box quickly. Alright, so here's the box. I'm just bringing up the phone to the entrance now. I don't know if you can see too much there. Um, I'm just taking from a ground view that that's where the camera is looking. Um, but this is the one box that we're going to be moving tonight. It's quite big. It's definitely a big boy. They've been there for quite some time. And uh, they've definitely built up a sizable colony inside there. I definitely think there's definitely honey reserves, which is a good thing. Um, but we won't be taking it away just yet. It's still a bit cold for them. So we're going to be taking that away possibly midway through spring. It should be full by then and they should have a lot of honey in the actual brood box itself. I don't see any other holes in that box. Um, so it should be good. So that's the big box that we're going to be moving tonight. Um, there is actually another box as well, which we're going to be moving um, on Saturday. That's also a very big box, but it's not here as such. It's actually quite a distance away. Oh, now I've got some sand in my shoes. Ah, come on. But anyway, so it's also quite big. And um, that one is a little more docile, that side. It's not as aggressive as this one so we're gonna hopefully also move that well we're going to move it on Saturday um, but because we won't have a, a bucky or, or a truck we're gonna have to put it in my, my little Reynolds quid <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be quite interesting but we're gonna put it in a black bag as well so that in that way we know there won't be anything coming through there as well it will be good because I don't feel like being stung on the way home thank you very much but as you can see there are other boxes up top there um, there's one over that side second one the big box and then the end box and um, there's only two the big box and the one on the right of it on the left of that box that side there's also a small colony in there but like I say they, they are quite small 
So we won't move that one just yet. But yes, you guys will see us moving these tonight and then also moving the other one on Saturday. That's going to be interesting. Bringing it quite far away. Um, that To get to that box is about, I think, a 45 minute drive to the area. It's actually at an area called the Khamtuas River. Uh, my grandpa, my grandfather has a holiday house there and we decided to put a catch box over there. We've actually just put another one there, but the first catch box that we had placed got found from a scout bee very quickly and they went straight in there and they've been pumping inside there. They've really built their place so quickly inside. They pollen, if you just you know see some videos on the, them going in back into the hive, the pollen that they get, they're bringing in is of absolute beautiful color you see orange and you see red and you see bright yellow so definitely you guys will see that and uh, be sure to keep on watching to see us bringing that bad boy back home hey guys so now we're on our way to to the Khamtus River to actually go and collect that one box that catch box that's full of bees um, very interesting, uh, another swarm of bees actually rocked up. There's another box there by the same same house. They didn't go in that box. Unfortunately, it would have been awesome to snag two halves in one day. Uh, but it's okay. I'm, I'm actually taking another box over there so that we can replace the one that's being moved now with a new one. So that can be, you know, another catch box for more swarms. That area is very popular with, with movement of bees, so it's definitely going to, you know, catch a swarm or two in those boxes over there. So be sure to stick around, you'll see me arriving at the location for the pickup box. Cheers. Alright guys, so we are back now by the bees that I'm going to be taking away today. Uh, let me show you. There they are. Nice, full, busy box. I'm really looking forward to taking those home to the apiary. That's going to be amazing. Really looking forward to that. Let me go show you guys more. One lands, they're all looking at the entrance. That's a nice, decent half, really decent. I don't see why they should uh, leave their house when we relocate them, but generally they don't. If they're quite settled, then they'll stay there. Woohoo! We just placed another catch box on this roof. As you can see, there it is, there, ready to go. Apparently, there's always a lot of bee action in this corner, so let's hope we can catch more. Well, Pops has helped me with it, <laughs> so let's hope we can do that. Alright, so we're just going to cover the box at the back, there's a hole at the back. Um, we're just going to go ahead and... There's one or two on the back there already, I can see. Yeah. Oh shit, there's two on. Oh shit, okay, well, let me go fetch more sponge quickly then. Wait, I'll just... Or tear that in half. I'll just halve this. Okay. I'm not going to push it up. Yeah. There we go. Done. I'm trying to make a noise. <laughs> yeah, definitely I wanted to in the front there. Oh, they ooh, they starting, yeah, they starting to come out. Yeah, again. it's okay. okay so we'll let them closed. be. We'll let them be. I'm thinking maybe pushing down and then closing it. Let me just make sure there's a sponge. See, the thing is, my fingers they they like crimp, so mm -hmm. okay. Then it shouldn't cause it to. Mm -hmm. So you also got me on the finger. So you can. Get off. 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 Get off.
does go to sleep. Oh, you got me on my finger. Yeah. <laughs> there, there, that one there, through my through my glove. I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Just move it away. Ah, yeah. Okay, there goes. Yeah, it's stinging. Ah. Can you take it out of the glove there? It's there still on the glove. Can you take it out? Yeah. There we go. Yes, it's stinging. Oh shit! Look, there's a thing coming at you. Right. Just like see all the top here. Let's pick it up. Should we just leave this stuff here? I'll pass it for you. I'll push that in there. There's nothing to do with the open door. I'm not going to be happy. But tough. See, like see how more predominant the yellow and black that is? Yeah. I'm almost certain that that is the... Well, these are the yet they were black. Water. Then those are the capensis. They were black. Let's pick it up now. Let's go. Put, leave the torch over. Just, just don't fall over anything at present. So, so we're gonna go that way. Eh? Just rest it on you. Don't wanna get a, get a better grip. Okay. Are oh, we gonna go backwards then? Let me go backwards. Let's go backwards. Come, okay. let's go. Just go slowly. This is no rush. Mm -mm. All right. This is the new hive that we've relocated. It's now here in the apiary. You can see they they just fanning down because they had a, about a 40 minute journey back from Khamtus River. So that heat was all pent up inside there. Um, so they're now just cooling down everything. This was a very not uh, friendly half, but I think it's because we didn't have any smoke with us. Smoke I think would have pushed them in and then you mm. could have sealed them up. But I think because we didn't have any smoke, they, they were quite not happy with us plugging them up. But uh, there was quite a surprise because we had to not only block two holes in the back <laughs> over there, there was also one hidden hole underneath the box and uh, we didn't see it obviously but yeah, nonetheless they're here now. So let's hope they decide to stay. I'm sure they will though. They're quite, they're quite a set box. So let's see how it goes. Alright, so I'm here by the hive that we moved last night. Definitely a lot of dead bees, unfortunately, all over the floor. Um, but I think that's also due to, you know, the move last night where we had to block them up and just seal that heat in. It's very, you know, it's not nice to see, but they had to be moved. And they are here now, so let's hope they decide to stay. And yeah, man, it'll be great to have them sit by, but they seem to be pretty much relaxed now. There's no swarming outside of the hive, which is a good thing, because if they're doing that, then that means that we're already getting ready to take off. But they're not doing that, so that is a good sign. There's the other new beak, the new box. They seem to be all hunky-dory here, so that's good too.